Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, Farmer Envoy Extreme here. Here we are looking at all the new bosses dropped today on the 10th of June 2024. And as always, there are some updates we're going to go over. One we'll be looking at as it is a new variant. And another one's going to be an update to the map, Castu and Leoin. New Horizon by Alberto CYL Mon Studio. But yeah, that is a big update, so I'm going to go over all the changes on that. And yeah, I'll be adding on to my list of map tours to do, but yeah. So, let's go over the description of that now, and then we'll get on with the rest of the mods for today. So, we do have some updates today, and one of them is to the Castile and Leon New Horizon. This is by Alberto CYL Modern Studio. It is 840. 46.34 megabytes to download and there is a plethora of the ch changes so all you can see from here on down update 1.0.03 spring update basically long story short it's update 1.03 because the update 1.002 was not released officially in that so this is in, co in comparison of patches 1.0 W2 and W3 all together in one big spring update. And yet yeah, there are a lot of changes, so as always, with something like this, a new game save is obviously required just by the change log alone, because we've got all new stuff here. And yeah, what I'll do is I'm gonna go through all this now, but I will do a map tour on this. And I'm doing this bit section now, post recording of the mod review, and it's Wednesday after having no internet for a day in that. So, anyways, change log 1.003. First of all, is the compatibility. So, disable mods that add new crops and new items or new productions. So, yeah, if you want to play on this map, make sure those mods are disabled. Corrections are as following fix it, we just bug, and the correction of sales of agricultural su supplies. Now for some tweaks and changes. Eliminate vehicles parked outside the point in cell to have more room for maneuver. Reduce the prices of land. The factories and production stores already have an established price. They no longer have a value of 1. Increase density maps. Price adjusted production readjustment in factories and stores. Tweaks in livestock feeding. Increase production of grapes, olives, fruit trees and fruits. Alfalfa and grass are now destroyed when vehicles step on them. Modified meters removed. Increase the lands to 82 and changes to them. Changes in resin pines and stone pines. Now, for some new content, we got the introduction to aquaculture. Note, through the factory system, aquaculture has been introduced, with which you can dedicate yourself to breeding, producing, and sale of trout, salmon, and sturgeons in turn. You'll be able to produce trout, salmon, and surgeon eggs with great benefits. You have to produce their feed and collect waste that will be used for other productions. New ecological herbicide has been introduced. A note to this is the ecological herbicide is necessary for the greenhouses, in stone pines, and in resin pines. You can also use it on your fields with a lower distribution rate compared to normal herbicide. However, if you have Precision Farming installed, the new herbicide is not displayed. So if you're playing this map with Precision Farming, this will impact on the new ecological herbicide. Now, for a bunch of new stuff that's been added, so starting off with the new street intersection to the west of the town, new textures to place the stables, etc., new vehicle modifications, new placements of roof silage bunkers, and etc., New Rehabilitation Castanian Barn with double storage system for straw and hay bales. New Chick Barn Avery. New Beehives with a different system. New Yield on all crops 25% if you place beehives. That is interesting. New Feeder in the sheep and cow pastures. New Water Well. New Mixer Portion and Chop Textures. New Silo for Mixed Ration. New Pallets added and changes. Comp Bells are available in store. New bags in store, new greenhouses. Note, if you want the greenhouse with the greenhouses, you'll need water, compost, and ecological herbicide. In turn, you'll have in addition to your products, horticultural waste that will be used in other productions, new fruit trees, which are pears and peach trees, new peat and teff grass crops, 
scrolling down, notes the Tef grass has been introduced as a feed for mares, equine cattle, new greenhouse crops, mint, lavender, aromatic plants, new productions in factories include omega 3 oil, wool, cotton sweaters, wool, cotton fabrics, bales of balls of wool, cotton and wool, firewood and etc. New productions in Milano di Avila, sorghum flour, corn flour, rye flour and bee flour. New laboratory productions of medicines of the raw jelly. Medicines are based on mint and perfume. New productions to artisanal extractors of the raw jelly, wax and processed honey. New productions by artisan distillers, aromatic alcohol, mint essence, lavender essence and distilled water. New confectionery production. This is where you can produce strawberry, apple, orange and cherry jam. Along with plum, lemon, peach and queens or quince jam. Not sure how to pronounce that, do you apologise? New productions in the forage processing plants, aka the BGA. New points of sales, new mixer productions. And a note to the mixer productions is you can carry out the mixer production in all mixing trailers in the feed factory and in mixing crusher using different products. Remember, yeah, so at the end, it's just basically a disclaimer of following Alberto on the social network to stay up to date and feel free to ask him any questions, especially with a big update like this. If there's any issues, do contact him. That he's very easy to search online, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, also enjoy. So, yeah, I will be doing a map tour on this. At the moment, I don't have the file sizes here, so yeah, we'll do a map tour on the new American L map. For someone's first map, this does look like a good map. But anyways, on to our new mods for the 10th of June. Here we are to the update to the Quivoon pack. This is by University of Modding. It is 71.21 megabytes of download and it's changelog 1.1 and it's the addition of the disc eater. So yeah, this is a disc arrow. And yeah, you'll find this under tools, under disc arrows towards the end and it is 13 slots on console go down to one of course if you're familiar with this pack you've got the compactors compactor rollers different kind of like shadow conveyors but this is a purely a disc arrow conveyor and new configurations 10.1 tons requires 350 horsepower 12 meters working with at 11 miles an hour so yeah first of all quick look over Love these details always with the rest of the pack if you're familiar with the pack, but if you're not, I do recommend checking it out. But yeah, so what we're going to do is hop into our fen over here. There we go. So yeah, we've got folding and unfolding. So yeah, when you fold it, unless we head over to the fields. Yep, see it's going to fold up. A little bump there, for whatever reason, on this map I can't get rid of, but... Anywho, also you do have some options, so... Press R1, right stick up and down. That's going to raise and lower that suspension hydraulic in that. So yeah, first of all, let's go and lower it down. We've got our fence here, so this is, what, 500... 10 or whatever horsepower. And you can see it does the job just fine. There we go. Nice bit of kit. And yeah. Overall, it's not too bad on that. And yeah, especially what? Because yeah, I forgot to go over the price of this show, obviously. But yeah, 84 grand that for a 12 meter disc on that. When you're looking at the base game stuff, 12 meters and that, yeah, you're looking at the Kinsey Max Hills and that, that's over 100 grand, so 24 grand saved on to base game stuff, and it is lovely, nice little bit of detailing, and of course, it's that kind of shade of red that I do love, so that is the update to the equivalent pack, the addition of the disc gear by Universal Seaman Modding. Now, let's go on to our new mods for today. So, here we are. Let's get rid of the helmet menu. And this is the concrete box. This is by Debinator. 
0 0.56 megabytes of download, and what this is essentially it's like a sort of mm, Lego set of concrete blocks and that. So it comes in a couple of editions here. So we've got the concrete block times seven. That is two slots on console, goes down to one. We've got the concrete block double row. Got the concrete block on its own. And got a little soap section here. So yeah, purely these are decorative items. So first of all you'll find these under build modes, under decorations. Under others towards the end. So yeah. Essentially you can do a few options with this. So yeah. These are one slots, these blocks and that. So yeah, so double concrete is two that uh, goes down sorry, the concrete times seven. That uh, is two goes down to one. Then yeah, all you have to do now is Yeah, just go and free place it as you do. Yeah, can make the walls and that so Fortune console it is a bit hard to get these perfectly aligned. And yeah, what you can do is keep on stacking. You no know, creating walls as I tried to do in the back there. Or yeah, just place it down. Then yeah, get these slopes and that. So I'm guessing something like that. Perhaps, yeah, helps if you may. Yeah, as you want. Let's turn on snapping, so bear with me. There we go. So, yeah, let's go and find the spot to put you down. But, yeah, I think having it snapped on does a better job compared to just free placing. Obviously, when it's this, toggle the free modes. And yeah, you can make all sorts of walls and that, and just pretty much anything. So, yeah, when it comes to placing, obviously you have free placement enabled, but have the snapping on, and that's why then, because yeah, if we have a look here, yeah, I'll try to place this down, because see, it's just slightly outlined. Yeah, even that was outlined. But yeah, with the snapping on, it works perfectly fine. And yeah, with something like this, you get super creative. It's like Lego concrete. It's like, you know, you've got the little locking, locking, uh, what's it called with Legos and that, the locking pieces and that. But yeah, overall, for a little more than that, like, yeah, 0 0.56 megabytes to download. Yeah, it should be one of those mods that has a lot of space in a one's mod folder and that. Yeah, especially if you're a fan of decorating your own farms and that. But yeah, that is Concrete Blocks by Debonator. Next, moving on, we've got the Logbug. This is by Ada Modern ABP Team. 1.23 megabytes download, and essentially what this is, it's a login trailer. 16 slots on console, we do have color options. But yeah, as you can see here, I have those up with some logs, and I'll say like recommend length for logs is either 5 or 6 meters. Depending on the length for logs and that, obviously you've got like six meters here. As long as your head rent is on the actual trailer, it should be fine that. But yeah, even if it's like perfectly level, like the entire length of the log and that perfect in weight. Yeah, when I've been trying to place this down, do you have some issues in that, but yeah, overall I'll say about four or five meter length logs, you should be fine. Four meters to be within the actual holder. And this one here is five meters. And that one there is six meters. But yeah, so you find this under tools, under forestry equipment, go towards the end. As I mentioned, 16 slots goes down to one. 18 grand, weighs 4.8 tons, and it says, yeah, 16 tons of winch support nats. But, as we can see, looking around, there is no winches. Now, it may look something more in person. And of course, got multiple color palettes, so the main colors are going to change your frame in that. So let's put it back to white. Design color, blue, that's going to change your chassis in that, pretty much. Design color, purple, so that's going to change just those couple of little bits there, the bolts and all that, other little metal bits in that. And then, lastly, you got your rim color, so... Yellow, that's going to change the rims. But yeah, have a look. 
The only way I can see a winch going on to here is if you fit it, you know, within this little slot here and that, maybe in that. Because, yeah, was, at the moment there's no way of how a winch is, like, pre-placed in that. Maybe you could put something, like, here on the back of that. But, yeah, overall, at the end of the day, I'm not sure on that. But, yeah, see how this pulls with some logs on. So, we've got a normal John Deere 7810. This is what, 175 horsepower. I think this, these are standard tires and not BKT tires. Actually, I can have a little look. Trade Master and that. 7810s. Yeah, these are the Continental tires, so may not be the most best traction of tires, but you know, I've quit looking at that, so got a few logs on. All these were liftable, so. No more than, what, a couple of tons of that we've got on the back? But yeah, something like this, I'll say is for... And it says on the mod description that. Yeah, for small-time loggers and that, small-time logging, you know. Or, for example, just collect a bit of firewood and that for the winter and that, you know. Grab a trail of this with a little tractor and that. Pickup is possible a bit. Especially if we detach. Got that pin hook in there, and it doesn't work with pickups now. It's got a ball point attacher, but you know, something like this, small tractor and that, does have a little struggle get up and go with the weight. But yeah, overall, it's not too bad. But yeah, it's missing the winch system that, or unless it's a mistake in that. No, yeah, nothing is set on the mod hub. Also, this mod does work with the Universal Auto Load mod and the Production Year to Support Vehicle Years mod. But yeah, they are PC only mods, so I thought I'd quick mention now because I'm a console mod reviewer at the end of the day, as you all know. I hope it's if you're watching these regularly. But, anyways, this is the Log Bunk by Ada Modding AVP Team. Next. Moving on, we've got the Massey Ferguson. 108 and this is by Nico Do 55 12.01 megabytes to download but also by the same modder very similar file size of 11.99 compared to 12.01 yeah on PC this is called the Brimont BB8 but yeah basically it's a lizard version of a non lizard and yeah a branded version of a Massey Ferguson one so yeah, something a bit interesting in that, but anyway, so essentially what this is, is a trailer that has the option of a auger wagon at the back. So yeah, this is six slots on console, and yeah, you find this under tools, under trailers, go towards the end, and yeah, you can find it just here, 11,730 to purchase, holds pretty much everything as you can see here, it does have options for 7.1 to 13,000 litres. Weighs 4.7 tons, that is standard. And even with all, all the augers in that, still weighs exactly the same. Yeah, 4.7 tons, even with the wood in that. But yeah, so auger on its own that. So you've got Will Brands, BKTs, Lizard, Michelin's, back to BKTs. Will set, we've got standard, standard 2, 3, and back to standard. So yeah, just different kind of sort of more of a chunkier trim in that. Capacity as it is, 7,050, 9,040, 9,350, 11,552, and 30,250. I don't quite how see that makes it bigger capacity in that. You know, all you're adding is wood. Yeah, it'll be bigger capacity on one side. But you got the other four ends to consider in that, so I'm not too sure. But yeah, at the end of the day, I am overlooking to this, but hey, I'm just being honest with this. And then yeah, got the auger wagon version. But yeah, with both of these, I should go to here. So yeah, with the auger wagon, you have a color option. Even though the color option is changing the auger system and that so I see here and yeah you can fit this with the bigger capacities and yep no issues whatsoever just changes the position <coughs> position of the hooks and that of the on the trailer and that 
But overall, not too bad. So, once again, we'll hop into our Massey. Not our Massey, or, or John Deere to hook up to said Massey. Like so. Open help menu. L1. And yeah, press L1 and down on the D pad. I was gonna get the pipe out ready. L1, R1, nothing, R1, nothing. Oh, wait a minute. So, yeah, L1, so L1 down, that's pipe out. L1 down. Oh, I must have already pressed it by accident. But yeah, so you can unload here, press L1, L1, R1, and triangle to unload. Obviously, I've got sides in it, but you can use this sort of way more for like sea transport now, if you wish. Also, yeah, oh, no, forget, sorry, L1, R1, sorry, yeah, L1, right stick left to right, just as the angle position of the all grenade. So, yeah, overall, not too bad, nice little bit of kit. So, yeah, that is the Massey Ferguson 108 by Nico do 55 also no mod, nice little bit of detail in that, but yeah, we'll head on to our next mod for today. Moving on, we've got the Samsung US328, this is by Agramodin, 11.63 megabytes download, and what this is, it's a mineral spreader, 12 slots on console, goes down to 1, and it's got a 28 cubic meter capacity, or 28,000 meter capacity as standard. Be it head out of the tools, nerve spreaders, and yeah, it says, oh yeah, on the model description, 28 meters cubed, so cubic meters, but the actual capacity is 40,000 meters. Chassis color, so you got your Sa Samsung green, a black, a light black, and then your basic color palette, so. Yeah, that's going to change a lot of it in that. Rules in that, so you've got standard, standard 2. Yeah, just different room sizes pretty much. You've got BKTs and Treadborg. But yeah, so head out of here. Once again, we'll hop into our Fentier. So yeah, we'll get this hooked up. So yeah, this is a nice little bit of kit. Obviously works with position farming of course and that, so R1 right stick left to right is gonna adjust that sight. L1 right stick left to right is gonna adjust that, so yeah, if you want to use like loading your door in that with a bucket in that from a loader in that or whatever, then by all means this would be the one for you. Also, I forgot to mention it, but in terms with working width, 24 meters at 9 miles an hour. Weighs 14 tons and requires 330 horsepower. Apologies for not covering that straight away. But yeah, so it turns on. Oh yeah, it helps you actually unfold the system first of all. Before I unfolded already. But yeah, once you get it unfolded, dump your mirror down. 40,000 i oh sorry. Yeah, 40,000 meters at 20 meters, so now we should see this coming through on the soil. But yeah, not too bad. And again, we're position farming. Makes worth doing manure spreading because I think that's really the only way you can do manure, I think, on FS with the, you know, using manure spreaders. So you can have position farming that because basically you'll go for this like nothing. Even now, we're still using quite a bit in that, but hey, at the end of the day, it's free muck, free fertilizer, so, or can be free fertilizer for you in that, so, yeah, you've got a bit of spare manure in that, a bit of spare cash, then, yeah, by means get this now, so if we put this off, looking at the detailing, not too bad, not too shabby, and still a reasonable slot count, so that is the Samsung US328. By Agar Martin. Next. Heading on to our penultimate mod of the day, and once again, it's a Monday, so that means we got a Stara and Connect Modding collab. So, this is the Stara Asteri 33. 
as 42.5 megabytes download as a direct drill multi crop planter and it does note says the due to limitations in fertilization stages only solid fertilizer is available because in real life something like this especially in South America and like Brazil now where it is more irri irrigation fed than that so for example like the pivot systems and all that you'll see in South America but yeah anywho a minor deviation on facts there so yeah you'll find this under tools under planters go towards the end as I mentioned direct drill however this is very expensive at 320 grand and yep slot count goes down to two and the original slot count was 29 slots just a quick look at my notes there but yeah seven and a half yep seven and a half thousand capacity weighs 20 and a half tons 50 meters work width at nine miles an hour and yeah when compared to base game nats yeah you're looking at between the Val shrine and the john deere nat so yeah it's a bit outside the price range compared to base game nat but at the end of the day, this is used in real life and that, so prices do reflect that. Or not that's before or after inflation, I got no idea. And yeah, also I forgot to mention there is no configuration options apart from license plate. But yeah, just quick show off. But yeah, this does require 500 horsepower almost, 495, so got the fence here next this is what 510 517 have a look yeah 517 so this should do it but it's going to be a little bit of a struggle also do all your crops not just the planting crops but also your base game crop and that so what basic crops not so that you're weeding that so all you need to do is purchase one planter and then jobs a good un so L1 R1, L1 does nothing. Move to the back. So L1 left on D pass to open your first tanks at the front. And then press that again. Let's go for both. And then this will you'll feel up your seed at the back. So boom and boom. Also just have lights. Left indicator, right indicator. Brake lights and that. Not too bad, so let's go ahead and drop this down. See, it's put, so it should be down that. Also, I love how it's like, you know, in real life, as it would be, then you know, slow power not. Man, that is absolute realistic, like heck. But yeah, that's just sound a little all the air hoses and that going out. As again, in real life, that that is what you see, and that's what you expect of that. So this is why I don't mind they call stuff by Star and Ethernet modding. Sorry, and Ethernet mod, not Ethernet. He's just and that with Spanish, but yeah, the collaboration between Star Brazil and Connect modding. Yeah, it brings a lot more one real life equipment to the game, more brands now, or more of a yeah, they've got Star already in FS and that, but more of a recognition of brand than that, especially South South America and that. Be good to have it. They've got some plenty of maps ready in South America. Do the way keep having South Africa in my hand, that's why I'm stuttering a little bit. Just want to make sure make myself a fool in that on the internet. But yeah, overall's not too bad. Nice animations and that. Love the hoses and that. But yeah, at the end day, not too bad, not too shabby. So that is the Stara Estuary 33 by Stara Brazil and Connect Modding. But yeah, pretty. Yeah, pretty expensive for that. But yeah, just like how it just powers down slowly and then folds up. Not too bad. Also, yeah, I forgot to mention. When it comes to the position of this, so for example, if I say drop this, like here and that, see it has that sort of like false weight of just continuing to go along in that. Even that 
what those speeds up was. I shouldn't be doing that. Like, so I forgot to put the brakes on this and that, or whatever and that. Maybe as I can, it may be some bit reason than that, but if you're going to tell me I already dropped this, so you're going to go like multiple tracks with them, so that's going to like pretty much drag it seal on the ground and absolutely just cause havoc and that, but yeah, so it may be in small updates needed. But yeah, not overall quality more than that as always. Yeah, that is the Sarah Estrella 33 by Sarah and Econet Modding. Next, we'll head on to our final mod of the day. And which is this? The Lizard S10 1998. This is by Kobler. 7.23 megabytes of download. Filming some of other work, like with the Lizard L1620, the John Deere 8700 and that. But yeah, overall, at the end of the day, this is a Series 10, or not Series 10. I think it was a Chevrolet base or something, I'm not sure exactly, but yeah, it was not too bad. And yeah, it turns with slot cam snatch, looking at my notes. Yeah, eight slots on console goes down to one. And yeah, essentially what it says, I think made a comparison, I'll say, to the base game version of the 86 pickup that we see. And yeah, just a bit more of a modern version of that, you know, an extra 14 years. No, sorry, 12 years, 86, 98. Yeah, 12 years in that. But yeah, as you can see, in the cabinet is the fan drive traffic, so... As always, you'll find these other vehicles, under cars, go towards the end. Eight socks goes down to one. So yeah, we'll set up. This is the ones I like of that. So you've got standard, design one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Back to standard. Personally, if it's me, I'll say yeah, six or five even. Again, that's supposed to be seeing that, but anyway, so exhaust pipe is going to be on the right hand side. And got standard, design one, design two, design three, back to standard. And then yeah, you got your front protection, so this is going to be at the front, some additional ball bars and that, so yes or no. As you can see, protection bar, yes or no. Also, you got options for beacons, LED lights, now, like spotlights, spot lamps, and that. All this stuffy stuff, and then back to none. And now it says stir up. I think this means a stir up and that because these are going to be these on sign the that, these side steps and that at the end of the pickup. This stir up is real world, and I'm not sure. Yeah, I haven't heard of that word before, stir up and that, but yeah. Anywho, at the front, front working lights, no or yes. So let's give some extra lamps that attach to the truck itself, not to the protective frame. Also, windows I got clear, medium tint, dark tint, whatever, and back to standard. Now, grid lights, so if we get rid of the protective bumper that, so you got no. So like one, two, three, or none. So you got top, low, all the way over, or no lights. Oh yeah, I forgot to go out here. Did me, oh sorry, didn't mean to go out there, so yeah, that's those. Yeah, we're probably looking at those cabin or sea lights, so it's just gonna be lights in the cabinet. But more importantly, on top so Oh yeah, see lights outside, not inside the cabinet. So yeah, I've got these lights here, yes or no. Main colour, so pretty much base game that. So go over the colour of orangey red. Front bumper and that, that's going to change the bumper there. Room colours, is going to change the rims. And that is it. So hopping into the modified version. Not too bad. A little bit of back with attention about support. L1, R1, nothing. L1, X. So let's unfold and unhook the back. But yeah, so overall it's not too bad. Actually, I do quite like this, so... And yeah, as I mentioned, it's definitely based on the base game. So, sorry, 86 pickup. That was 86, yeah, 86 that. 
I'm going to check it's a good driving mask, but yeah. That is a modern version of that, that is for sure. Oh, well, Shadow, do you think it's a Chevy truck now? I'm pretty sure it is now. Again, I could be wrong on that. Yeah, you've wrong. Oh, shit, General Motors, you've added pools, right? Obviously, you didn't have anything too heavy on the back. And then the jobs are good, and so. But yeah, if rules not too bad and not too shabby. Hop into the normal unmodified version. As you can see, it's pretty much the same in that. But yeah, so that is the Lizard S10 1998 by Kobla. And that is all in the mods for today on the 10th of June 2024. As always, hope you found this helpful and affordable for some shape or form. If so, smash the button, throw a friction on the number below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, please consider. But for what you just do, hope you're nice But for now, it's been Farm Ever Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.